Hello, my name is Jason from the Australian College and today I'm going to show you how to create a VPN from the virtual server you created from our first video. Now, use the remote desktop connection that I showed you at the end of the last video to connect into the server that you created. The first thing we want to do is we want to go into Server Manager and set up some new roles. Go to Start, go to Administration Tools and click on Server Manager. And when this loads up, what you want to do is you want to click on the roles, if it hasn't been selected already, and click on add roles. Sometimes you may have to wait for this to come up, so please be patient. Um, what you want to do is click on, leave everything as default, click on next. And what we want to set up is a network policy and access server. So select that for me, and click on next. And click on next again. And what we want to do, we want to enable a network policy server, routing a remote access services, which will automatically highlight the remote access service and routing. And then click on next, and then install. Now, depending on the, the instance, this could take approximately five, could be 10, possibly even 15 minutes. So please be patient, wait for it to install. I'm going to pause the video now, and I'll enable it once we have this installed. Okay, once finished, your screen should look like this and should have the installation succeeded. Ignore the error, that's just the generic error you have with the Windows updating. So I just click on close. And then in extend the roles. And again, network policy and access. And routing and remote access. So you should see here now you have this new feature is routing and remote access but we want to have this enabled so right click on that and configure and enable routing and remote access click on next now well, even though we want to set up a VPN we want to select the custom configuration so click on that and click next and in here we select the VPN and click next there and finish Yeah, and just click if that screen pops up, just click OK and click on Start Service to start your VPN and routing and remote access service. And finish when done. Now you can see here um, it's gone from a red circle to a green upper arrow. That means that this is now active and online. What we want to do now is we want to set up the IP scope or the area of IP addresses we want to set for anyone that connects in via VPN. So right click on routing and remote access and click on properties. Then click on IPv4 and set address pool. And then click on add. Now for the starting IP we want to use it in the same range that our current server is using. To find that out click on your start type in run and leave type in cmd and go ok and then type in ip config and press enter and as you can see here the ip address is 172.31.3.160 so we'll just minimize that so we want to use in here your starting ip do 172.31.3.160 and we'll probably make that start at 170 and instead of adding the end IP we'll just go to the number of addresses and we'll say let's allocate 10 we only want 10 maximum 10 people to connect to the VPN that automatically give the, the last IP address and then go OK and click apply and then OK again okay so while we're in this screen what we might do we want to set up the user access so for people to connect in via VPN they need to have an actual user account on this server and have a group that has access to connect the VPN so extend the configuration section there extend the local users and groups and what we'll do is we'll set up the group first so click on group right click in anywhere in the blank screen click on new group we'll call this VPN group call it access to VPN and click on create and then close as you can see this new group has been created 
Now we'll click on users, right click, we'll go to new user, we'll give, put my name there as new user, don't have their full names, I'm again, and VPN user, give it a password. I'll tick this, I don't worry about changing it on logon, and click on create, and close. As you can see, my new user account is now created. Double click on that, go to member of, go to add, and type in VPN and group. That should be the one that you created earlier, and then click on check name, and it automatically should find it. Click OK, click apply, and then OK again. So as you can see, my name's there, I'm a VPN user. I go back to the groups, double click on VPN groups, and you can see I'm a member of that as well. Let me click OK. OK, our next step, let's just minimize this and then click on Start, Administration Tools, and now we need to set some network policies. So click on Network Policy Server. OK, when that loads up, extend the Radius Clients and Servers. Right click on Radius Client and click on New. Okay, now we want to call this radius client my VPN server. Now for the IP address, use the IP address of the server itself. So use 172.31.3.160 and just create a shared secret password and you can use this, use any word that you can remember. And then click on OK to create. Okay, if you click on there, you can see that you now have VPN server ready to go. Last thing we do in this field is set some network policies. So extend the policy section, right click on network policy and click on new. This allows people to connect into your VPN. So we call it VPN policy. Change the type of network access to remote access server VPN dial-up. Select that and click on next. And then we want to we want to actually in this field here add some user groups or the, the group that needs to access the VPN. So click on add, click on user groups, click on add, and add groups. And if we have VPN group, click on check name as before. Go OK and OK, and that should be now added. So the user group VPN group. Anyone that's in that group can now connect to the VPN. And click on next. And you want to give them access. Click on next again. Leave these as default as long as these four are selected. That's all you need. Click on next. Now in this uh, screen here, click on NAS port type and select VPN because you want them to connect in via VPN. If you scroll down here, the VPN option here should automatically be selected. For virtual and then click on next the last setting here is setting the IP so click on IP settings let's make sure the server setting is determined determine the IP address assignment therefore whenever someone connects in using their VPN the server will automatically um, allocate the IP address to the client and then click on next and finish. Alright, and that's pretty much it. That's how you set up the VPN server. So let's do a bit of testing now to see that it's all working as intended. So just minimize these screens. Now if we go to what we want to do on your local machine, it's not on the server, but local machine, you want to set up a VPN connection. So I'll show you what it looks like on here. If you go to start and type in VPN, that's what you want to load on your local computer. So I'll drag mine across now that's my local machine. Now the IP address or the internet address needs to be the external public IP. So this one up here, the 54.252.221.179 is what you should be using because you're connecting from the public or externally. But this one won't work because that's an internal IP to that server. So we'll type in that and that could be virtual server VPN then click on next 
type in your username that you created on the server and I'm going to test it by putting an incorrect password in and click on connect okay it's come up right away saying it's incorrect password or incorrect username type it again so let's put the right password in go OK and there you see it says you are connected so my computer now is connected to the VPN of the virtual server now let me show you something if I go to this screen here type in IP config again you'll see if I scroll up that this has two IP addresses so it has the existing one which is 160 but a new one which is what my computer at my local computer is connecting to which is the 170 address it's created a virtual connection now if I go to my command prompt, so this is my command prompt on my computer, I type in ipconfig okay, and I'll scroll up as you can see I've got a 172.301.3.172 address that's been assigned by the virtual server and if I go in I can should be able to ping 172.31.3.160 so as you can see there I've got a reply, a reply back 15 millisecond to 22 millisecond response back from that IP address so let's do one final test let's go onto the C drive here let's create a new folder we'll call it test folder and if I go in and I share this folder give everyone access and we'll give everyone rewrite access Okay, so this folder is now shared. Okay, so I'm going to drag my file explorer across, minimize that a bit, and minimize that. And my file storage go. Okay, if I go to the IP, That's the test folder I created. I click inside there and see if I can create a new a new Microsoft Word text document. Okay, and you can see that automatically it's added to the other server. If I go into the other server, type anything in there, save that, go back to my folder, open it up. As you can see, that's now saved the data across. So I have an active connection between my desktop to the, the server via VPN tunneling. My name is Jason from Australian College. Thank you for watching my video today and hopefully it's been of assistance. Thank you.